Charizard versus Meta Knight. You may think there's other Pokemon in there, but it, they're actually not. It's just a Charizard. Occasionally, the I'd be sure be putting in that work though. Yeah, I've never. I for today. Today was the one time that I saw his Wi-Fi Squirtle do anything but hit down me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I actually haven't seen it do anything more than down B either. One of the good things for Bonk, though, is the fact that uh, you got the bigger frame in Charizard, so you get a lot more of these combos consistently. Like so, down to go for the Nair doesn't even need to push for that neutral B. That's going to close it out. And there's that instant down B we talked about. Squirtle is not very effective against the catch up, even though it's a flying type. I'm sorry, I'm going to stop with the jokes. But, anyways. <laughs> That's okay. Pokemon jokes are, seem to be your repertoire. Is he dead again? Okay, no. The frame on Switch comes through. But now he's on Charizard, so one dash attack might go oh, doom. Oh, Jesus. One thing I really like out of, out of uh, the way Beast plays guard, oh, trying to look for uh, a roll away or maybe an early reaction for that forward smash. And that was very charged, too. So I don't know if that would have killed, considering how light uh, Meta Knight is. But what I was saying is I really love the way that Beast utilizes these nares. It kind of reminds me almost of PM Charizard, if you watch uh, ever watch some of the good players from that. Uh, I feel uh, I feel like I recall something. What I always see him use the uh, Charizard's Nair for is just like sheer coverage. Like his combo game is never like fully extensive. He'll go for like, the one two piece combo, but he's always looking just to cover wide amounts of space. And Charizard can do that super super well, since he's not worried about damage output or making sure he has the uh, has the percent lead. Yeah, meanwhile, <laughs> one person who's not worried too much about damage at all is Bonk, even though sitting at high percent right now. Okay, trying to go for two to maybe mix up Beast there, but gonna get caught by that up here finally. But still, cruising at 0% compared to 141, that first time being taken so early. Just a dimensional cable right back to center stage to immediate drill. You gotta be careful with those side beasts, dude. They, get, they have that really strong spike hitbox. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> this matchup can be even around this present. You get hit by one of those back airs as Meta Knight at the ledge. But that up the outer shield is going to take it. Going to call it the stock. And Squirtle doesn't exist, but the Ivy Store is back into play. Yeah, we might let's try and see a little bit more of this Ivy Store, assuming he doesn't get like laddered off stage a little bit. Because you kind of need some damage here, and you're not looking to get exploited at low percent. Never mind. He is looking disappointed at Loper's time. Man, that would have been a great time for Monk to like, kill him, but I guess we weren't on the same page. I kind of look for the max coverage. I like the idea of waiting to go for that up out of the shield. You don't want to use that too often. That fly is super strong, though, with the invincibility at the startup. A good cross up by Bonk. You, if you guess wrong, you just die there, and he was able to mix up Beast. Dash cancel jab. That was interesting. Get yeah. to get a little bit more damage on board. I guess Meta Knight's jab is like super fast. I think it's like frame three or four. So yeah, it's Meta Knight is still on, like nearly unpunishable to begin with. You have that forward smash that has next to no end lag. Down tilts are so hard to punish, and you get mixed up in the dash deck all the time. While going for the rising side, be committing to the option. Also, I mean, you're up a stock at that point too. So if you make a mistake, it's fine. As one of the is forced to play. The percent difference was so far in Hawk's favor that this is going to be a rough one. But Edelite mean, is rather light, so Charizard very simple. Exactly, very similar to the matchup that we saw for Hybrid uh, uh, against um, Mouse Rat or Hydra. Excuse me. Uh, you got to be careful because Charizard is another one of those characters that can steal games, but you don't get the chance to because the backer is going to take it out. Jumping out of shield is a frequent option that a lot of players choose to rely on. And if you have a long lingering area, or just put a full hop out there, and you can start hitting some hitting some panic options. And at 157 or higher, you can willing to bet some players are looking for comfort options. I doubt we're not going to see a stage change here. He always goes back to the screen. So now you're sounding a little bit weird. What? Yeah, you're sound, ah. you sound watery or far. I'm upset and annoyed, and I hate it. What changed? Baby, what happened? 
<laughs> okay, so it wasn't just me because I, I was just switching back to my other headset yeah. off of the headphones because you sounded very far. So give, give me like two seconds. Yeah. Do I just put the whole of my, my game closer? It was a little bit extend like oh, outreach. Uh, uh, you cut back into normal. So you keep speaking. Keeping speaking. 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 One, two, three. Yeah, you're kind of cutting out. What? <laughs> but he's having audio issues. No. Why? <laughs> oh man, that Charizard up smash or something. Oh man. Oh, okay, here oh. we go. <laughs> cut him. Cut him with the. Cut him the sword. Yeah, cut him. Mm. Hey, <laughs> yeah, you right. <laughs> Scrap him. Catch him. Trying to catch that up there. On the way back down. Alright, so Bonk wants to get trying to push in, but that time's gonna get caught. A beast recognizing the aggressive approach from Bonk right there, gonna get the fly. It's such a just strong option you have to respect, even on air to air. Try to go for maybe an early down air, but Bonk holding off. Good job. Hopefully, this knight is back in action and we. Okay, and Bonk is choosing to get right back in the action as he dashes forward with a jab. Late dash attack into a, into a shuttle loop. Oh, I like the idea right there. It, normally, you'd expect them to go for that dash attack on the far end because they're trying to air dodge away. So maybe Bonk tries to air dodge in. Oh, and that, getting caught a little bit off guard there by the neutral beast gonna end up taking out the stock. Okay. Down be out of combo. I like this. I like that Bonk is mixing up a little bit more dash grabs. This. Oh my gosh. Also backing off there too, not really over committing on that because if you try to go a little bit too far, you might end up getting caught off stage trying to look for a sh uh, shuttle loop that was never there. Or I mean, excuse me, not shuttle loop, uh, the tornado. Yeah, that feels like that's so much of Meta Knight. Oh my God, the Flare Blitz. Kill from cross stage. <laughs> oh no. And that, cr that retreating fair looking as good as the sub coming in from Mr. 350Z. We don't pay, we don't forget to pay attention to Twitch. Thank you for subbing. Right now we have another good match on hand. Not committing to the grab, I like it because you want to try and go for maybe a, a down tilt uh, tech chase there. But Bonk just trying to find an opportunity to get the stock off at the edge, trying to look for the back out of shield. A down air attempt to almost get a punish them, but no spot dodge out of Bonk. Another pair, two of those parries, and the grill is going to cover the extended stay at ledge. A lot, of the, a lot of the times a drill can like either two frame or just hit directly below ledge because then I sticks it stored out pretty far. And oh my god, the object coverage coming from, from Beast looking for maybe an air dodge or something a little bit aggressive there at the ledge, not gonna get it. But here's the Ivy Tail we talked about before. It could every once in a while get to go for the Pokemon switch into fly to be able to deal with any air to air damage. What I'm gonna do is you're gonna get caught by the ledge, you gotta be careful what maybe four throws at the ledge at this point. I'm gonna back off Beast. Right, waiting for the tech roll in as the oh, no, 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 here oh. you go. Three times in a row, Flare Blitz is hey. going to take out. The first one hey. was just the bait. The second one was the ability to catch stupid. them off guard. And then the third one was exactly just being feeling stupid. So, uh, Flare Blitz uh, worked out somehow. <laughs> and Bonk's going to have to hold that up. elaborate <laughs> bait. Uh, <laughs> he, was think he was playing four-dimensional chess. He could yeah. smell it. <laughs> Oh, um, yeah, can you ask me a quick favor? Can you just possibly lower the Discord uh, uh, volume just a little bit for the game audio? Because that last floor blitz kind of made my ear pop. There we go. <laughs> that's, that's perfect. That is perfect volume. So I wonder where we're going to go. Uh, I think we, with that, how long we're taking, I might possibly switch off this stage. And I think the room that Beast has had to work with might not be in the favor of Bonk, so we might possibly see a smaller stage. But I could understand, like, the... Yeah, okay, no switch. No switch of stage. I was thinking, like, maybe you see something like Smashville, but, like, PT does super well on Smashville, so... <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I just looked at chat. Flowchart, use Flare Blitz. Did it hit? Yes. Taunt. No? Use Flare Blitz again. <laughs> <laughs> 
meant to play as Naito. Yeah, I'd like you just to, uh, we're going to be sticking it out on, um, on PS2 here. Great save for both uh, players. It, it really worked out well for Beast. Really kind of recognizing when Bonk is trying to push the initiative, and that's the key when you're a big body character like uh, Charizard. You can't, you can't just try to box with somebody. You always have to kind of react in anticipation. These cross up nares, though, Ooh, almost getting the jump call, too, with that up air. And oh. just getting the cross up fly. I'm pretty sure, I like, yeah, also, I think that there was a little bit of DI assist because of the cross up. So that was a really smart call from, uh, from B. Yeah, Charizard is one of those characters that's so dangerous to. <laughs> oh my God. Speaking oh of my danger. God. <laughs> All right, Beast is, Beast is figuring something out. Bark is in danger zone. Bark needs help. Somebody send help, please. All right, Bark this time waiting out the, uh, the fly that he has been caught in multiple times at this point. Trying to stay below and keep Charizard on these platforms. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. yeah, I agree with what you're saying a second ago too. It's on Bonk to now respect those flies. If you get caught a few times with that, now you have to get scared possibly of that option. I like how Beast just waited an extra second because usually when those things happen, you might have, like assume somebody's gonna spot out in that situation. But Beast doesn't even need to worry about that. Oh, it's such a good lead. You're getting close to kill throw percent too. No, it's just gonna oh. okay. The empty jump bait tomahawk into up smash on the cross up. That was really well placed. Now Bonk goes to get a two-stock up. MD jumps are so threatening when you're Charizard and have three kill throws. Here we go to side. He should finally do it. Oh no, it's not going to the thickness of the boy. is going to shoot himself a little bit longer. Not this oh. time. That's gonna out. <laughs> three of them fangs. <laughs> Much like the four blitz chart. Did it work the first time? No, try again. <laughs> No taunt though, unfortunately. Yeah, it didn't have the time. Beast didn't waste any time to get back into the stage. Alright, here we go. Beast. Oh, excuse me, uh, <laughs> Bonk started up trying to get some of his damage. But the thing is that it's like Beast really just answers most of these strings with like two hits. The Bonk estimation capitalizes. Maybe get one of these early edge cards to get a side piece at the ledge. <laughs> I wonder if that was another Flare Blitz the wrong way, or are you reading the tech roll in? Oh my god. So it, That's something that you'll see out of Beast every once in a while too, especially when you're at the ledge, if you happen to get forced into a jab lock situation. Here we go. That's something Bonk is hold, uh, held on to throughout the set. We fought a lot against Hydra, but now I get Beast to be understand the risk versus reward that comes with doing that right next to the Charizard. Getting the super top of the immediately, not allowing for some potential 1% strength with this big body of Zard. I like uh, how he's incorporating a lot more beast grabs, like not letting Charizard just sit in shield and like, act out of it. Make sure that you're really just Here we go, Beast is threatening short jump. But Bonk finally getting in. It's like, okay, I'm gonna keep you grounded, draw for that jab. Kind of look for maybe a drop off a ledge back here. That's usually what you'll see at a situation for Charizard. But the call into look at that one EFO. That was a catch deck to challenge Charizard though. Oh, and the down tilt not enough hit stun to do anything afterwards, so beast get just thrown at that up catch. Earliest, like, option to really have in that situation there and is going to get the kill. Uh, jab doesn't really matter that much, but you get that up smash. Seal the deal. Going to go up two games to one. Um, or are we in best of five territory? I mean, we're in best of five territory, right? Okay, just want to make sure. We don't have to We don't have to leave Zeno you know, by midnight type deal, right? Oh. <laughs> Tears. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Also, the one thing that I have yet to do, um, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, mics are exploding. I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. Are you guys wearing headphones? I am, yes. Yeah. Oh, man, that's even more confusing then. All right. Look, man. I don't know. I'm going to I'm gonna turn off my game audio feed to you guys and see if that makes a difference. Okay. All right. All right, so we're doing it with no game audio, but it is what it is. We'll deal with what we got. And 
get right into this. So a Punk almost getting caught by that forward smash. You saw that uh, Beast was either looking for that the dimensional cape in front or an air dodge down. But Bonk King just commit to the string at that point, caught him off guard. 75% early kill. This is exactly what Meta Knight can do as well to PT, even though you see Charizard steal some kills early. Once you get a hold of one of those, Bonk's able to seal the deal. And that's why you keep staying on PS2, even though he's playing a lot more grounded, trying to punish a lot of the landing. Okay, wait a minute. Vine Whip's going to catch a lot of these empty jumps from Bonk. Yeah, that was a good job because you saw Bonk was just kind of jumping near the side of the stage, maybe looking for an early option to go out there to try and cover something. But you just throw out that Vine Whip and you're already on stage, so it's not like you're going to get hard punished by that. Not even a little bit. Vine Whip's already, like, not... Not exactly unsafe. This throw up shield was just got we just grabbed. Wow, you know what? That was a good idea too, because you sit there, you throw out that forward smash, right? And they're out of position, so you're not sure if they could actually punish you. And then you throw out that fly. I really like the movement from Beast, which led right to that back air. Throwing out those up airs, trying to just throw out some coverage, force Bonk to stay low, and that's gonna catch him. And once again, almost uh, kind of I think he was looking for a jab lock there. A bonk. Is now forced to get yet another early string after what was it 75% first stock now looking at a deficit behind uh, while Beast is at 43%. Just the effort to kind of keep him off what is like so pivotal in something in a situation like this is to minimize damage and Bonk has been only okay at a lot of that. Charizard's damage output is incredible but Beasts just in, oh in my nature to call things out are just so the, dangerous for a light character like Meta Knight. The titanium set on Beast that just nair directly in front of a Meta Knight forward smash is absolutely insane. And <laughs> Bonk gonna get caught by the dash cancel off tilt once again. That's been such a good landing coverage. Throwing out some tactical crouching looking for the, <laughs> the landing in front of him. All right, back air is gonna take it out. No tech. And Bonk still has the opportunity to close this game out. Also going to throw a little bit of tactical crouching, too. Back here. <laughs> back there is just going to do it, though. I don't know if that was DI assistant or not, but we are taking a full one-way trip to the blast zone. And that's going to be Beast taking it and going up 3-1 over Bonk here in Losers. That that's a that was a rough set of DI, and it goes to, goes to show, like, a lot of the, the difficulties certain characters can have against a... Uh, Heavier characters or characters with a character for the skill set like Ivysaur, where like they are, they're more about like a range of impact kind of zone. Uh, Meta Knight, while has like pretty a pretty solid advantage, his like the way to get it is rather linear, and when you actually have your combo strings going, each up air is a little is a little bit more technical than the last. And if you're dropping those, whether because of Wi-Fi or because of other issues, like then you're leaving yourself open to just another big swing that Beast was throwing out regularly, like frame six up smash for a reason. Mm-hmm. Also, just one thing I do.